Yeah, it's time. It's time. It's that time of the day. Mm. Get your Starbucks on. Let's do something, okay? Whatever, but let's do something. Let's keep that blood flowing. I'm going to make a painting here of some irises. Irises. Iris flowers, irises, something like that. A la Van Gogh. Just because I can. I could just imagine Monsieur Van Gogh painting away. Not really caring much. Well, he cared about, about line work. Like, like creating lines and whatnot. I don't care so much about that. I'm more, I'm more in the, I don't, I don't worry about that kind of stuff. I'll, there's another iris right here. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, la la. Get a little bit of impasto, a little bit of texture, or a lot, depending on what your cup of tea is. Sorry. Look at that. And then, ooh la la, ooh la la. <laughs> Look at that. You ever seen something so magical appear before your eyes? Honey, do I sound cray cray when I when I when I'm like magical? No. I sound super cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, super see? Awesome. Super awesome on 2000. Look at that. Irises. How's it going everybody? Thank you for joining or all you early birds get to feast on this beast. You guys get to feast on this beast. If you are watching it on YouTube later on, uh, you were not an early bird. You're, and, and wait a minute. You're watching it on YouTube. Why are you watching it on YouTube right now? Why, why, why aren't you, why aren't you subscribed, or uh, not subscribed? What is it? Why don't you, why don't you follow me on Instagram? Why, don't, why aren't you on Insta, buddy? After this video, if you're watching it on YouTube later, uh, come be my Insta buddy on Instagram. I get lonely sometimes. Look at that, irises, yeah. That's how it's done in this studio. Let's, pick, let's, let's get this, this, this big, bigger brush, this big bad boy. Okay. A little gray, why? Because it looks good with gray. It just does, trust me on this, trust me. There we go. Keep moving. You keep moving. If you stop, you think. And if you think, you've lost the game. Imagine imagine handing over the ball to Michael Jordan or or, or whoever whoever is a big dude right now. Imagine hanging the ball and being like, here, think about what you're gonna do next. You'd be like, no, dude. That's why I practice. I have to be thinking about it. I know what to do. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Those of you who... 
are new to this, fear not. I'm doing videos to show you guys how it's done. Yeah, check it out. Look at that. Ain't that something? I'm telling you guys, we're going places. We're going places. Far places. All right. Now let me do a little bit of this thing right here. And just make those lines stand out, okay? From our irises, our iris flowers. Check it out. All of my work, guys, is available on my eBay store. So if this is the kind of thing that you like, go check it out. Maybe you learn something. Maybe you learn what to do, what not to do. Or maybe, maybe you like something from there. I don't know. Maybe you like a painting. It's not too late to get a Christmas gift. Christmas shopping is just getting started. It's just getting started right now, huh? Yeah. See, my wife knows because she's the one who goes and, and does all the Christmas shopping. I'm bad. I'm bad with that. I'm sorry, baby. Christmas shopping doesn't even start until Friday. See, so you got time. If you're going to do an auction, just make sure that, that you're doing auctions that are, are about to end. That way I can send it right on time. So you can get it before, before the time is right. Mario Rotsa says, you make it look so easy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it looks easy. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it sure looks easy. Uh, but you know, just. You know, with, with, with a little bit of practice and, and a little bit of love and, and a little bit more practice and a little bit more love. And when you're done with that, a little bit more practice. And, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's a, you know, you start getting the hang of it. Whatever that is, right? For you, you start getting the hang of it. I like uh, being spont spontaneous with it. If I'm not spontaneous with it, I know I'm doing something right. Uh, uh, Renoir said that, right? Renoir said, only when the artist does not know what he or she is doing. Not Renoir, I'm sorry. It was Degas, the, the painter of the ballerinas. He's like, only when you don't know what you're doing is that you're doing something right. And he's talking about, of course, the aspect, the true aspect of inspiration, which is now no thought involved in there. There's no thought. Thank you so much, Mar Marlena. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let me do a close-up. That way you guys see what I did here. These are my irises. Uh, little, little flowers. This, this one uh, in particular measures 10, 10 inches across by 20 inches high. And it's on a canvas, on a stretch canvas. As you guys see, the, the back stapled. The staples are in the back so you can... I don't like painting the sides just because it's not too artsy. It's more like deco decor. So I, I I I like just just painting the canvas itself. You know, I don't I don't really spend time on, on the sides or any of that. Uh thank you so much, Marlena. Marlena says the colors are just perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I really I really wanted to go for 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 uh not a bright on bright. Sometimes I'll do that, more fauvis type of, of colors. And the Fabes, of course, being uh, the the beasts, right? It, it comes uh, from the word. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's it's something about being like beasts, right? Because they were they were furious beasts, <laughs> and they painted like that, like Galdan and all these other guys. The post impression is that became Fabes. Uh, I was looking for something, something. I was aiming for. Innocence. <laughs> I was looking for something more, more. Okay, if this is going to be bright, then the background we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, you know, calm it down a little bit so that this, so that the blue doesn't lose 
behind another blue or a bright yellow or something like that. I don't know. I just kind of liked it. A bright yellow would have worked really nice too. The blue and the yellow would have, you know. And an orange, well, of course, the orange would be the ultimate, right, complementary color. Orange and blue are married. They look great. But you can, uh, you can, uh, you can play with it, you know. When you're doing something like this, you can play with it for sure. I wanted something kind of blue-gray on the background. Thank you so much, Marta's, uh... Marta Sampaio says, uh, beautiful palette. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Marta. Uh, I love the palette. I do a very bright palette. Check this out. Look at that. Magenta. This is, a, this is not magenta. This is not pure magenta. Of course, it's white. And there's also cadmium red in that magenta. So it makes, a, it makes almost like a hot pink. Right? It makes like a like a like a like a melon hot pink. And if you add yellow with your magenta, man, you start doing some really cool stuff. Very cool stuff. I love those colors. So I hope nobody got a headache from moving the camera around, the phone around. And and this is this is what I do, guys. Again, my name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. You know, the, the, I didn't choose the art world, the art world chose me. And this is just the way it happens. And my artwork is all original, okay? I am, I do uh, prints and whatnot, but 99% but of it is original. I, I, I do very few prints. And also, it's all available on eBay, on my eBay store. So those of you who want to go check it out, it's on my link profile. It's on my profile. There's a little link right there. Click on it and it'll take you directly to my store. I have auctions starting at 99 cents, which is, which is crazy with no, with no, uh, reserve. So whoever wins it, wins it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm local like that. I just want people to have something, you know, have, have some original art. Most people, it's not that they can't afford it. We, we use, we say that, right? We say, Oh, I can't afford art. It's not really that. It's that we're not exposed to it. You know, so I'm trying to I'm trying to expose as many people as possible to artwork, to original artwork, and I think that that's a that's a way I differentiate myself from other artists. I I, I try to show up and expose uh, painting, you know, daily, creating artwork, creating blogs, and just you know exposing people to original art. I think it's a great thing to do to have. Uh, prints are great too, of course. Uh, limited edition prints even cooler, but. Uh, but original art, I mean, nothing beats that, right? You guys saw me paint this, and I'm going to post it on my eBay store. And it's all going to be good. So take care, guys. I will talk to you soon again. Today at noon. Uh, today is what? Today is Wednesday? Yes. Today I'm going to do an art demo at noon. Another art demo with a, oh, with a cool yeah. talking. 241. Today you guys get to see two art demos. So at noon, Arizona time. Don't miss this out on Instagram. Of course, this is Instagram, but those of you who are watching on YouTube later, uh, I have uh, art demos and whatnot at noon, okay? Every single day of the week, I have cool stuff at noon. Mountain time or Arizona time. Google, it's worth a Google. Take care, guys. Adios.